in some contexts, higher productivity growth is thought to reduce jobs and to lower wages. So I think we need to remember that productivity growth is something, is the foundations for how an economy can produce more, but in the long run, and why do we care about that? Because if you produce more, you can make good on promises. Promises for the young that they will have a future, promises to the old that you will be able to pay their pensions, and also promises to, to uh, those who have invested in your economy and financially. So we do care a lot about productivity growth as the foundation of the capacity of an economy to make good on its promises. So how does that, how do we get there, as you say, the pathway to higher productivity in a way that is aligned with uh, jobs and wages. So one of the things that we've done at the OECD is look at the characteristics of the business environment and the labor market environment. And we can sort of decompose on, for all of our economies, what are the characteristics of that environment? And one of the things that we are then able to do is to say, a big challenge for getting higher productivity is not spending a lot of money on R&D. Uh, and not having the most innovative firms. It's about taking innovations that are already available around the world and diffusing those innovations to the local economy, to the local firms. So it's like taking things off the shelf and embodying it in the companies. Uh, how to do that, though, depends on the characteristics of the environment. So each country is going to have its unique pathway. So how do skills and jobs and wages come into this? Well, if an economy is growing, then we're having more employment. Well, that's good. On the other hand, how do we align productivity and wages? Again, looking at this research that we've done uh, using mostly industrial countries, um, we have found that uh, one of the inhibitors to productivity growth is skill mismatch. So in companies, workers have skills that are not being utilized. And so, of course, they're not going to pay. They're not going to earn as high of a wage if their skills aren't being utilized. So to align productivity and wages, we need to have better skill, mismatch, skill matching to reduce skill mismatches. All those same kind of country characteristics about the business environment, entry and exit, participation in global value chains, the quality of management, these all are factors in skill mismatching. So a better policy environment for business turns out to be a better policy environment for people and wages as well. Now I said most of this research is done with industrial country data, and why is that? Well, we've been able to get the data from those countries. So going forward, what we have on our agenda for research is to uh, get the data that we need in order to do the analysis for the emerging markets to see how much these sort of uh, descriptions of how we get to higher productivity growth, better skill matching, and higher wages, how that plays out for emerging markets as perhaps distinct from the industrial countries.